What is up everyone? Tommy with Studio Sins here. Thanks for stopping by my channel to check out today's video. If you are a brand new viewer, welcome to the channel. I hope this becomes your fragrance discovery review list and everything else home because that's what I aspire to do. And for those of you that frequently visit me, thanks so much for your continued support. Today, if you walk into a department store, a boutique, a rack store, whatever you want to call it, and you go in search of a parfum fragrance, it's not gonna be hard to find one. In fact, that's almost the problem. It seems like it's the trend among design houses now to focus on existing IP instead of creating new pillar fragrances, you know, and new lines. What's happening then is that we're seeing a kind of a trend uh, or an influx of parfum or le parfum, because they kind of mean the same thing. So whether it's a parfum edition or le parfum edition of a fragrance, there are a lot of them out there. So it can be a bit confusing when you go to choose a fragrance to know which is going to be good or which is going to be kind of a fail. And so that's what today's video is all about. The reason I call these particular parfum editions must own is they're so mood elevating. They're guaranteed to turn your sad emoji into a permanently smiling one. I've got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, and for a second time, let me emphatically welcome you to today's video because it's hopefully informative one for you. When you turn your eye to fragrances, there are a ton that are being released right now that are parfum editions. You've got your original, and then your flanker, and then your flanker, and then your flanker, and near the end of the line, the Le Parfum or Parfum editions of the, the flankers. There are so many out there right now, and even more coming out, it's really hard to discern which ones are worth owning. And so that's what today's video is all about. I'm highlighting several of these that I consider must owns. Let me throw out there a little bit of a disclaimer because I know some of you are going to be like, well, why didn't you mention Fahrenheit Parfum, Sauvage Parfum? Why didn't you mention your favorite parfum? I'm not telling you that these are the only parfum edition fragrances that are worth owning and the rest are just bunk or crap. There are a ton more out there that are definitely worth owning, but my goal for today's video for you is just to give you insight into what I consider seven must own parfum edition fragrances because again, there are so many out there, it's really hard to know what to pick and choose and what's going to be of good quality and what isn't. So these, I can guarantee you, are definitely worth owning. I give you some reasons as to why that's the case. So let's dive in and talk about the first one. The first one I would like to bring to your attention is actually from Narciso Rodriguez in the decently well-known for him line, but the much better in terms of quality and wearability versatility is the For Him Blue Noir Parfum. The For Him line has always been known for its niche-like quality, but they've gone a little bit farther away from niche in terms of it uniqueness and gone a little bit closer towards something that's more mass appealing and hyper versatile. And so what they've come up with is an, an agreement between what's best for mass appealing and keeping that unique niche-like quality this is the result and it's a fantastic iris oriented fragrance now if you're not a big fan of makeup -y iris like lipstick kind of iris then you'll actually really enjoy this blue noir parfum is a wonderfully powdery floral iris that's a perfect introduction to a more blue shade of floral masculine it's again more of the lighter side the powdery side and the blue side of of iris as a floral note beautifully rendered with musk suede tonka bean there's leather there's blue atlas cedar like if this is your very first purchase in the for him line it, it can be your last to me, it is the penultimate for him fragrance in the Blue Noir line. Its performance is on par with the uniqueness and the wearability of its overall aroma. And that's why I call it a must own. Narciso Rodriguez for him Blue Noir Parfum. The next parfum edition that I consider a must own is actually from Hugo Boss in the Scent line. And I enjoy most of them actually. But this one is the scent Le Parfum. And again, I'm using the terms Le Parfum and Parfum interchangeably because they both pretty much mean the same thing in terms of heavier concentration, where it fits in the hierarchy of the line itself. Now this one actually happens to have a little bit of iris in its DNA as well, but the scent Le Parfum's iris is like a temporary parenthesis on that maninka. But it's outstanding while it's there. Its poetic presence is like the brief but beautiful movement of hummingbirds collecting nectar from a flower, if you've ever seen that. It's that brief life cycle of iris that makes it so poignant. But it's the maninka and vanilla 
that you remember the most. And Maninka to me is a little bit like chocolate covered strawberries, that heavier component of, of chocolate and fruit combination that make it so unique. Not only that, but the combination of ginger, leather, and precious woods in the base make this one of the scent fragrances worth owning, and in specific, a Le Parfum edition worth owning. The next Parfum edition that I can easily recommend to you as a must own actually comes from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is Scandal Le Parfum. Again, a Parfum version of Scandal, the original. Scandal Le Parfum is a proud and powerful scent from Jean-Paul Gaultier, and it's an improvement in every way from the original. It's what the OG should have been, a piercingly heavy geranium, a sustainable sandalwood, but perhaps most of all, the tonka bean and sandalwood combo is undeniable. The tonka bean is tethered to Scandal's DNA and the scent profile is as dependent on it as an astronaut is to his carabiner and lifeline. Very heavy, creamy, sweet, high, dense, high quality tonka bean combined with a very high quality sandalwood. And that creamy sensual combo comes out as a dating dictatorship in this. It is very, very powerful. You can't deny it. And it's got this really elegant draw to it. And that's why I recommend owning it. Scandal Pour Homme Le Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. The next parfum edition that I recommend it as a must own is from a very well-known line. It's not gonna be a surprise to you probably because it's been out for a while. It's actually from Versace. It is Versace Eros the Parfum. Now, why would you want this as opposed to the original EDT or Eau de Parfum edition? Those are both in their own right, very standalone fragrances. But the reason I would say this is a go-to for me is it's just so beautifully put together and I think a bit, even a bit more versatile than the, the first two. Eros Parfum is so brisk and exuberant. It's kind of like flying over a winter river, but it's also sweet warm and embracing and familiar like a well-stoked fire can be so it's the two-tone quality of that you know the the one that's exciting and adventurous and then the one that's a little bit more safe and cozy feeling it's the combination of the two and how well they work together when it would seem to be counterintuitive that makes this the best versace Eros, and that's why it's definitely worth owning it will never let you down when it comes to compliments if you are interested at all in pulling compliments, I wore this for the first five minutes yesterday. I even left a YouTube short about it, walked into a gas station, and immediately the lady was like, whatever you're wearing smells great. Immediately did a short after that, letting you know about the compliment because compliments aren't just lies that reviewers tell you about. They actually do happen, but you have to be in the right situation and of course, wearing the right fragrance. For my next must own parfum edition that I can easily recommend to you guys, bringing out the big guns takes on new meaning when it comes to Azaro's The Most Wanted Parfum. It is both sexy and masculine, loud and stealthy, at the same time, its bright pungency and sparkling ginger wake up the senses, but its deeper core of vanilla and spices are what really impresses and entices, making it truly hard to beat as a date night secret weapon that's not so secret. Azaro's The Most Wanted Parfum. The next parfum edition that I consider a must own is from Ralph Lauren. In fact, Ralph Lauren proves that there's still room for improvement in the blue fragrance genre when they released Polo Blue Parfum. If you know anything at all historically about the Polo line, it's that each fragrance tries to aspire to excellence, you know, tries to strive for a certain kind of refinement and feel so that without even thinking about it, you know, if someone tells you they're wearing a Polo fragrance, you know, it's just par excellence. Considered one of the better in terms of designer fragrances, in terms of overall quality, overall wear, Blue Parfum fits the bill in true Polo form. I like to think of it in terms of a lighter version of Blue de Chanel and perhaps just a tiny bit cleaner as well. Now, I'm not saying it's better, but if they both submitted a DNA ancestry test, the results would show a striking familiarity. Not so distant cousins, right? Kissing cousins. It opens with pink pepper, cardamom, orange. The heart has vetiver, sage, lavender, and jasmine. In the base, you've got oak wood, you've got frankincense and patchouli. Overall in tonal quality, it is very similar to Blue de Chanel, but it doesn't go quite as deep, quite as dark. And that's why I say it's like a lighter shade, maybe of Blue de Chanel, but it is definitely carrying that polo DNA. And it has that Ralph Lauren kind of refinement and feel. Therefore, this particular blue fragrance looks and feels equally at home in a suit 
as it does a t-shirt and blue jeans. So yes, it's a testament for a good example of a modern new signature scent. All right, guys, this is number seven and my last parfum edition that I can recommend so easily. It's, it's like a blind buy worthy fragrance. And if you don't already own it, and if you don't already know about it, I hope that I can give you some insight into why it's worth owning. It's another Jean-Paul Gaultier favorite. It is Le Mal Le Parfum. Le Mal is, of course, a very well-known youthful clubbing fragrance, but the Le Parfum version of Le Mal is just a bit different than the original. Le Mal Le Parfum is another stealth bomb of a fragrance. It's spicy, it's even, it's sophisticated, kind of like an elegant suit that you don't need to wear to be elegant. While it retains what makes Le Mal such a hit with the younger clubbing crowd, it's more tailored for the mature. Instead of chaos confidence, it's more like customized confidence. It's no longer one size fits all, it's one scent fits the scenario, proving yet again that Le Mal Le Parfum has what it takes to be a signature scent for the ages. It still has that cardamom, that lavender and iris combination that's so familiar, but what this has that the original doesn't is more vanilla and oriental woods. So that makes it an oriental spicy fougere. And it's a wonderful one. It's one that you can definitely wear on any occasion and it performs as a parfum edition should amazingly well. Well, that's a wrap on my seven must own parfum editions. These are all very well-known fragrances fragrances. They have a great track record. Some are relatively new. Some have been out for a little while. So if you own them already, let me know what you feel is the best. Or if I missed one, and I know that I've missed one, as I said at the beginning of my disclaimer, there are a ton of parfum editions out there and I didn't go through all of them. I just feel like these seven in particular have what it takes to be more mass appealing, to pull more compliments, and for you to, to really enjoy in, in elevating and lifting your mood and your quality of life. But let me know the ones that I missed that you feel should have been in this list. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. Again, as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah,